be rolling them out over the next few weeks, uh, hoping to get them all done by the summertime for sure. Uh, the people I talked to today say they've waited a long time to get back out here onto this lake. Lord might bless me with a fish. Scott Wilson caught a few today as he cast his line into Lake Waco. I got him. He's glad to get back to fishing after flooding forced him elsewhere for a while. It's only like a mile from my house and it's so nice to be able to just get up and have a place to fish. Fishermen and boaters took to the lake quickly since the first of the closed areas reopened last weekend. We had a few that opened up March 1st, Spiegelville Park and Twin Bridges uh, Beach. Uh, the rest of the facilities should be open by April 1st, except for those that are still damaged by floods. Airport Beach, which took heavy damage, still needs lots of work and will open later, while other beaches beckon now. But don't expect perfection here. A little TLC would not hurt. Volunteer work would be great for this place. The Corps of Engineers that operates the lake reminds us it's meant for flood control, so it needs lots of upkeep. Unfortunately, in the last five years, we've fluctuated quite a bit, gone up 18 feet multiple times, and that's inundated a lot of our facilities and caused a lot of damage. But to most visitors, 